So you know how our bodies have parts? We have hands and legs and eyes and toes. Well, plants have parts too. In fact, they have six plant parts. And my friends from the Banana Slug String Band are about to tell us what they are. Root stems, leaves, flowers, fruits, and seeds. 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 That's right, plants have six plant parts, and they all help the plant out in different ways, as we will come to learn later on. Did you notice the difference between the two different photo sets that I showed? One was of plants and their parts that we don't typically eat, and one was of plants with their parts that we do eat. So for example, when we eat carrots, we're eating our roots. When we eat celery, we're eating stems. When we're eating spinach, we're eating leaves. When we're eating broccoli, we're eating flowers. When we're eating apples, we're eating fruits. And if we eat roasted pumpkin seeds, we're eating seeds. So that just shows us that each plant part is helpful to us as well, because we get to eat each plant part. But let's take a closer look and learn how each plant part helps the plants themselves by making our own imaginary plants. So as I'm making my imaginary plant, I'm going to make sure that my plant has these six plant parts. The roots, stems, leaves, flowers, fruits, and seeds. So let's start at the top, or in the plant's case, at the bottom, the roots. So roots take water in from the soil and hold the plant in place. That sounds pretty important. So I should make sure that I included roots on my plant. In my root, I'm gonna have a long tap root. And I'm gonna add a bunch of tiny root hairs going off the side. Now let's move up to the stem. So the stem supports the plant and carries water to the leaves. So down here we learned in the soil, the roots are helping suck in all of that water, but if the roots just hold it, that's not gonna help our plant out very much. So we need to have a nice stem. And I want my stem to be kind of wavy. I think that looks pretty neat. And why shouldn't my imaginary plant have a nice wavy stem like that? So I have a nice stem there. It's supporting the plant and it's taking all this water that the roots sucked up and it's pulling it up to the leaves, which is our next part. So leaves make the food for the plant with sun and air. That sounds pretty important too. We all know that plants need sun, soil, water, and air. And now we know that they need the leaves so they can use the sun and the air. I'm giving my leaves spade-shaped leaves. I like that shape of leaf, but maybe your leaf has square leaves. Maybe it has heart-shaped leaves. Maybe a smiley face leaf, I don't know. Now on top of this, we need to add some flowers. We're gonna give my imaginary plant some flowers and flowers make pollen, seeds, and fruit. Well, that sounds pretty important too. So I'm actually going to have a few different shoots here that could support flowers at the top of our plant. And over here, I'm gonna add our first flower. I'm going to make these kind of look like tulips. It's almost tulip season. I love tulips. I think they're beautiful flowers. So I'm going to add one flower that looks a bit like a tulip. And fruits are there to protect the seeds. Have you ever eaten an apple and look inside it to find the seeds? That's because that big apple, that big part of the fruit has seeds in it and that big part of the apple is there to protect all those tiny little seeds inside. So we have a flower. I'm going to draw my plant's fruit right next to it. You know, I really like hearts, so I'm going to make the heart fruit heart-shaped. Maybe this plant is called a heart fruit plant, because its fruits look like hearts. And then finally, inside our fruit, we have the seeds, which is our last plant part. And seeds, as we all know, will grow into a new plant. So that seems pretty important too, because if our plant didn't make seeds, we couldn't get new plants. And so these would be the seeds that are inside the fruit. And if you were to open the fruit, you would take them out and you could plant them in the soil to grow another one. And there's my imaginary plant. It has all six plant parts, the root stems, leaves, flowers, fruits, and seeds. My imaginary plant, the fruits are edible. Um, so make sure you keep that in mind as you make your imaginary plant. Which parts of your plant are edible? Are any of them edible? 
If you have a picture of your imaginary plant in the comments below, I'd be so interested in seeing it. If you're interested in doing a deeper dive into this lesson, um, this video was based on a food core lesson called Imaginary Plants. So uh, feel free to click on the link below. It'll take you right to the lesson and you can learn a little bit more about it. Hope you have a great day. Can't wait to see your imaginary plants. Bye!